Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nisi, coming back with another Bulls Eye tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to do a dope vocal preset for Lil Reed, so let's get to it right now. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, down below, please suggest more artists so that we can keep doing these videos. And if y'all do want to get the preset or support the channel, uh, you know, click the links down below. So let's get to it right now. Baby, I'll be right too high, but I don't wanna come down. He was like a spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't wanna die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even get up one Baby, I'll be way too high, but I don't wanna come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. My love on the night, bitch, now we done now Niggas talking trash, shit, can't even put a one pound Baby, I be way too high, but I don't wanna come down He was like a spicy on the night, that made us run down I don't wanna die young, so I don't put this gun down Used to fuck my so, all right, really, really dope vocal preset here we got today for melodic rap vocals. And I think Lil Reek is from New York. Yeah, this song right here is called Manhattan Vibes. Uh, I believe that's the name of the song. So, uh, yeah, let me show you what it sound like with and without this type of, uh, you did, well, let me show you what it sound like with and without the preset. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was like a spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to so with this vocal preset specifically, it's about getting that dope, dope uh, New York style, you know, clarity. You feel me? Clarity in presence out of the vocals type shit like that. So uh, Lil Reek is a really dope artist and he, his vocals are very melodic. So the first thing we're going to look at is the auto-tune. And with the auto tune, his auto tune kind of reminds me of like a throwback vinyl. You feel me? Like a vinyl that's like a vinyl record or whatever, throwback music player. It's just kind of like wobbling and grooving a little bit. So that's why we picked this specific auto tune. Five retune speed, 10 humanized, you know, just enough to get it to start to wiggle it, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Jason Derulo type of shit, even wiggle, 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 like wobble. I want the, the vocal to wiggle and wobble, so that's why I got the auto tune like this. Some artists, their vocal is pretty straightforward with the auto tune, but his has a certain type of like breaking up spongy quality with the auto tune. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. You so yeah, it has that bubblegum type of quality. You feel me? That 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 bubblegum type of quality to the vocal where the auto tune's kind of pop, 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 popping like some bubblegum. First thing that I'm gonna use specifically, because I'm going for vocal presence and a little bit of a, you know a clarity and stuff like that, right? His vocals, Lil Reek, like this specific part, I did this specific part too, because it's kind of like sounded like FC Jaheem a little bit too. And me personally. You feel me? Like, with FC Jaheem, he's a really dope artist from my area. So, like, I don't like to do artists that are, like, from almost, like, the same place as me type shit like that. You feel me? So, um, yeah, that's why I got the NLS bus working on the spike mode type shit. And, you know, this is just a saturation modeling an SSL console. You feel me? So, SSL console got those VCA components and everything like that. The saturation is great. It's giving more weight to his vocal, but still a somewhat of a, a, a upbeat type of tone. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was like a spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit, can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. Very subtle, very subtle what it's doing, but for the most part, I'm using this saturation specifically because um, it's putting some emphasis on that high mid-range. You feel me? Adding a little bit more of the articulation for, uh, you know, Lil Reek's vocal. After that, we have a REQ6, and like, pay attention to I have um, like that blue band. I have that upper mid range uh, band kind of like going upwards, and that's why I'm trying to push out all the detail and all the nuances of his vocal specifically. You feel me? Like Michelangelo, like an artist, like an engineer. You feel me? Those fine details. You know, when an artist is doing like a sketch, and you can see little every little single fucking line and detail in vain and on a, on a picture of a superhero they drawing type shit like that. I'm trying to paint the rapper like a superhero. You feel me? Like a larger than life character. So with um, you know, Lil Reek's vocal too. You know, the low end. 
in, I, I let it extend the whole way because his vocal is not deep. So you feel me? People who have lighter voices, I try to keep on a lot of the belly fat of that vocal, you feel me, to make it still feel full and thick. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuck my love with a leverage, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young. Next plugin that we have here is the Wave Sibilance. I like this a lot. He's kind of rapping fast, looking at the tempo, and also listening to the Florida rapper. I need a de that's going to be very responsive. I picked the Wave Sibilance because I know it's more responsive, it's more reactive. Like, for example, if you have, you know, like little tests where they got a bunch of laser pointers and shit like that, you feel me? I would feel like this de it would be better at that game than the Wave's de you feel me? Because it could, oh, oh, boom, 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 the harshness right there, boom, just grabbing everything a lot quicker, you feel me? More responsive, it's more up. Like a drink of Monster Energy drink or Red Bull, it's more up, you feel me? It has better reaction. Action. It's more hyper, you feel me, to get rid of the harshness. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Really dope. After that, I have the C6 working over here. Um, I used the, the slight amount. A very slight amount of low shelf, specifically just to like control the body of his vocal. And that that low end of, of the, the vocal, I want it to really be stable. So I use a, a, a slower release time. That's why I have just a slight low shelf that's just going, you know, take its hands in, on the vocal and just grip it just a little bit so it can it can be held there perfectly. You feel me? Like if you got a water gun, you feel me? Like you just, you got to hold it straight so that you can shoot forward. So because I want the low end of the vocal to shoot kind of through the speakers a little bit, I want it to be like really in there i want you to still feel that his vocal has body as he's doing all this high -end, high -end, high -end, high -end, uh, doing all that shit with the high end moving all over the place um i still want that low end to be very stable i want it to be the concrete in the ground you feel me and those other two like free floating notches that i'm doing right here is just to take out like you know any like little resonances of, of high end in his vocal because when you got somebody with a a, a high ass voice and auto tune sometimes it can become squeaky and kind of annoying a little bit so you know we want to kind of get rid of those upper upper range frequencies but of course that's his vocal character we want to keep it that's why we're doing it dynamically with the c6 so you know the words where the squeaking the rattling and the the, the 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 baby toy rattling shit when that shit becomes annoying the c6 will work but then all the other words they'll just let it pass through Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die. Bitch, now we done now. Especially that second band, bro. Like that second band, if you got a high voice, like NBA Young Boys, so, hey, you doing all that squeaky ass shit. Like that's a great way of just kind of making it not feel too overwhelming. You know what I mean? Like a little kid or a little brother just overwhelming. Hey, can you do this with me? Da, 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 da. That shit kind of just fucking annoys you, you know, a little bit. Uh, so let's see what it sound like again. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuck my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuck my love on that bitch. Really, really, really dope. Next plugin, at this point in time, like, I know his vocal is naturally bright, so I don't want to use too much boosting EQ, so I went with something like a Fairchild 670. This is a very great plugin to add vocal air, as crazy as it sounds like, but the tube has a way of just adding a little bit of that brown sugar, you feel me, a little bit of that brown sweet cinnamon at the top end of the vocal, so it's adding su sweetness at the tippity tippity top of the mountain type shit like that, putting that frosting on top of the cake, just that sweetness on that's on the above layer type shit right and also the Fairchild is great because it also has a bunch of transformers in it which adds some density to the low end which is helping give the vocals body so you see how in the beginning i'm already understanding like damn his vocal is skinny what do i need out of this okay i'm not gonna be able to boost too much brightness because his vocal already bright 
You feel me? I'm going to probably have to figure out how to let a lot of the low end stay there and enhance the low end. You feel me? Maybe not using necessarily boosting Q, but what type of saturation I use. You feel me? I already have a, a way of approaching the vocal before I even pull out a plug in. You know, I think about what do I want the end to be? What do I want the last lap of the race to look like? You feel me? Like this shit is NASCAR. You feel me? Type shit like that. When you mixing, it's like a race. It's like a marathon, bro. Like, what do you imagine the last lap to be like? So, because I want to win, and I imagine myself winning the race, right, which is the marathon, I'm going to do the moves that I got to do to win. So if I imagine that the vocal is supposed to be okay, I want it to be super clear, I'm already establishing that right out the gate, and all my moves is going to be so I could get that outcome type shit. So I picked this Fairchild. The Transformer is giving some tubbiness to the vocal and adding a little bit of that sweet cake frosting and the sprinkles on top of the high end. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was like a spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was like a spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Doubling back again. Okay, I had a tube. Compressor like the first child, now I'm using the tube EQ. I'm understanding what tools do. Give me some of that stomach, but also give me some of the top end, too, type shit like that. You feel me? So um, we're using this one specifically over the other, the regular pull tech because this one really lets you go in there and focus on that mid-range. Right? I'm trying to bring out that mid-range clarity. Uh, so most importantly, I really just used it to duck the mid-range, and that's it. I use it as a saturator and as a reductive EQ type shit like that. You feel me? Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash shit, can't even put up one pound. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash shit, can't even put up one pound. That plugin is really, really good. The other pull tech, the the um MEQ or whatever, because it lets you lets you dial in that mid range like on an acoustic guitar or a vocal was really dope, really dope. It's, I feel like it's more precise a little bit than the regular pull tech, which is very broad. You feel me? So after that, we got the Arvox, and we know what this Arvox is doing, bro. Just a pinch of Arvox. It's kind of serving like a clothes hanger. You know when you washing and drying clothes? Okay, you wash the clothes, now you got to dry it. You take the hangers and you pinch them up on the line type shit. Like, that's some throwback shit, you feel me? Like if you have like a line to hang your clothes, like you kind of like pinch them and type shit like, and it holds it there. So that's what I'm using the Arvox to do, to slightly pinch the vocal like a, one of those, those, those clothes hanger pinchers would do, you feel me? And it just kind of keeps the vocal there. Like a, a clothes hanger would pinch some clothes on the line and just keep it there. You know what I'm talking about, nigga. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash shit, can't even put up one pound. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking after that, we have a fresh air coming in and, uh, you know, just mostly not going overboard with the super sugar high end, the, the super, super top, just mostly using it to push that mid range. You feel me? Like, I love how this plugin, it cuts the mid range and it boosts it a little bit. You feel me? It kind of just declogs the shit. You feel me? Like a drain remover. Like if you have like a pipe in your house or your sink is draining, you put like the drain remover and it just kind of like clears it up. That's kind of how I see this plugin. It clears it up and it makes it shiny type shit like with polish. Baby, I'd be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash shit, can't even put up one pound. And I love to put the uh, silk vocal after the fact, especially because with the silk vocal, it's just going to make sure that my vocals get brighter. And as that fresh air is pushing into that silk vocal, it's giving it some resistance. You feel me type shit? So like the vocals got brighter, but not harsh because the fresh air is on the back end to make sure that maybe the little harsh frequencies don't start to poke out too much. So that's why I like to use these two plugins in tandem together. 
Baby, I be great too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuck my love with an average, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be great too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuck my love with an average, now we done now. So it's not necessarily just copying the sound. It's also about a texture, though. It's a very a, a crystally type of texture, you know, a, a iodine salt type of texture. You feel me? Like that, you know, his voice has on it. You feel me? You know, that's really dope for rappers like Stun Again, Bino, uh, Little Reek, FC Jaheim type shit like that, you know, where it's just super bright but not obnoxious, you know. Using a little bit of that. Slap delay, you feel me? A quarter note delay. And nothing crazy. Rolled off hella low end. Hella, just made it super mid-range focused. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to fuss my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking. When I hear somebody rapping a lot and there's like no space in between the flow, I try to keep the feedback very low. You feel me? So it's not kind of like, excuse me, stepping all over the lead vocal or the delay. Uh, Wave Space Rider. Wave Space Rider is the next plugin we got here. And uh, with the Wave Space Rider, Wave Space Rider is the next plugin that we got here. And I'm just using it for the reverb. And the chorus. I like this because... Man, like when you put a chorus on the reverb or you start slipping in little bits of modulation, it kind of makes the auto tune disappear. So I, that's why I like this plugin a lot. You've been using this type of reverb, a chorusy reverb, just because you got a modulator on a modulator, which is what auto tune is, it just makes the auto tune get washed away. It gets, it makes the auto tune get a little bit diluted. That's why I strategically pick this reverb for that type of melodic, these type of melodic rap type of vocals. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the night that made us run down. I don't want to... I just showed you something crazy right there. You see how I took the chorus and I pushed it? And then it sounded like there was even more auto-tune. Yeah, because like the chorus is a modulator and auto-tune itself is a modulator, you feel me? So putting a modulator on top of a modulator, like two moving objects, moving quick at the same time, kind of like disappears um, from like your eyes, you type of shit. Like, so it's like, we're trying to do the same thing with your ears, you know? Like I'm trying to put two moving things in front of you so that it kind of like disappears type shit like that, you know? So that's a trick to make your auto tune sound smoother. Putting in a modulator, maybe like parallel of your vocal, like whether it be a flanger, phaser, just very low, not to where it could be heard, but just to where it just kind of tucked in helps the things blend better, you know? And then we have a doubler too. A doubler stomp actually, and I like the double stomp too because it has a little bit of flanging type of chorusy effect. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on another bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Well, stuff like that helps the auto tune blend in a little bit, a little bit better, it makes everything fit together. That in itself is kind of like gluing the auto tune together, you know? Like the glue, it kind of glues the auto tune to the effects, you know, a little bit of Elmer's gorilla glue type of shit like that going on with the effects, you know what I mean? And then after that, we have CLA 76 on White Air Force. I already said it, bro, and I'm sticking with it. Black. Blacky mode on CLA 76 is Black Air Force Ones. We gonna step on you. In uh, CLA 76, the blue face mode is like White Air Force Ones. You feel me? They both, you know, street. They both street. But one is cleaner than the other type shit like that. One a little bit more brighter. You feel me? Upbeat. You feel me? So I use the CLA 76. I put it on a ratio of four and I'm just the clicking through the ratios just trying to hear tone at that point how like is the vocal talking to me aggressively a little bit more softer like i'm listening to the ratio for the tone fastest release too because the rapper is um rapping fast when you move i move just like that you know that song 
Like, yeah, that's kind of how, like, a fucking compressor got to be, you know? With the rapper's flow moving a certain way, the compressor got to be moving a certain way, like, uh, in tango, like, tangoing together, doing the cha-cha, doing the, the, the bachata, you feel me, type shit like that. Samba dancing together, the compressor has to be dancing with the motherfucking vocal type shit like that, so it's not obvious that there's compression there. And, yeah, just blend, blending that in parallel gives more excitement and enthusiasm to the vocal. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net, that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. All right, and last thing we're going to show is the main screen. The main screen, bad lip. Main screen. Some fucking EQ rolling out top, bottom. We want the ad libs to be heard. Push a little bit of that high mid transient. You know what I mean? It helps the ad libs cut through so they can articulate a little bit better. Our vibes kind of bear hugging the ad libs. I want to crush them just a little bit. You know what I mean? SSL strip. S SSL strip. I'm cutting out the mid range, cutting out the lows, uh, adding a little bit of brightness. CLA vocals, just to use it for like a different flavor of effects and a flanger stomp and a little bit of parallel compression. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. He was talking spicy on the net, that made us run down. I don't want to die young, so I don't put this gun down. Used to force my love on that bitch, now we done now. Niggas talking trash, shit can't even put up one pound. Baby, I be way too high, but I don't want to come down. Okay, that's the end of the video here today. I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my uh, YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the preset or you want to support the channel. Check the links down below. Um, and, you know, keep suggesting more artists. Just want to say thanks a lot now, my YouTube gang. Appreciate y'all now. Mm.